The news that Ground Zero was closing took Alana Moskowitz by surprise. I personally kind of went into shock because <laughs> I just, I had been expecting to come back to the space. Moskowitz was a barista at Ground Zero for two years, and she says she's not the only one who found the news hard to hear. I know a lot of people cried. Honestly, I know a lot of people who just got together and cried. USC is closing the coffee house to renovate the whole building. Student Affairs says there are no specifics yet on the changes. Alana says better facilities will be great for Ground Zero, but the temporary closure has left some students in a difficult position. There are a lot of people who just ended up without jobs all of a sudden. The renovations also mean some student performers have to find a new space. Second Nature is an improv group that performs every Friday night at Ground Zero. This fall, they can still use the stage area, but they have to find a new venue for their spring events. We're like looking to the village as a possible place to find stuff, but not a lot of like a lot of the things in the village haven't opened yet. At the end of the day, it just is an inconvenience. But these students say Ground Zero closing isn't just inconvenient. Alana says it's the environment at Ground Zero that made it special, and that will be missed. Ground Zero was about just being able to merge so many different people and create this really comfortable atmosphere where people could just come in and hang out. Like it was definitely a staple of a lot of people's USC experience and it's a shame that it's being taken away. Ground Zero is scheduled to reopen in the fall of 2018. For Annenberg Media, I'm Sonica Bargo.